But we want to welcome all of you again to our annual senior adult luncheon and friends and family and those who are here to watch our play and our very talented children. This year we are doing a play rather than a musical. Our play is a little comedy, a little skit about Thanksgiving and what it might be like if you actually happen to be the turkey on Thanksgiving. So our play is called Terry and the Turkey and thanks to Miss Jean Lytle for her hard work on always getting our our dramatic interpretations here at Brookfield Elementary School put together for us. Let's give them a round of applause. Thanksgiving, a time of joy and celebration, of food, relaxation, and family. A day beloved by everyone. Everyone that is except Tom Turk. Gobble gobble. I mashed the potatoes, I crammed the cranberries, and the amps, and now it's time for what you always do on Thanksgiving Day. Watch football? No, it's time to prepare. Prepare? That doesn't sound so bad. Prepare? That's such hard work. I have to pluck the feathers. Oh. No, ow. And pull out the innards. Eek. And stuff them in the oven. Oh my. And all this. But first, he must chop off his head. And all this time, I thought it was the guest of water. Oink, oink. Welcome to my world, buddy. Well, I guess I better get busy. Hi, Grandpa. Happy Thanksgiving. Is there anything we can do to help? I'm glad you asked that. Yeah. Go all back and chop off the turkey's head. Oh, I was thinking you would help tell me to set the table. Too bad, get chopping. Be brave, dear. But honey, you know the side of what makes me crazy. But sometimes a man had to do what a man had to do. Make the kids do the work. Hey, Dad, is dinner ready yet? Son, this is going to be a very special Thanksgiving. Going to chop the turkey's head off. Gross. Um, and while you add a pluck of the feathers and take out the innards and give it to Grandma to put in the oven. But, but, but. Have fun, son. <laughs> Terry. Jerry, hey bookworm, did you hear what Dad said? No, I was too busy reading my history book. You mean you didn't hear a single word that Dad said? No, what did he say? He wants you to chop off the turkey's head. <laughs> well, if we want a turkey dinner, somebody has to do it. I feel faint. Oh no, I think he's having a heart attack. Who's having a heart attack? Oh no, he doesn't have a pulse. I don't have a pulse. But you, Grandpa, the turkey. Terry, what are you doing? CPR, learned in health class. She's such a great student. What the heck is going on? I think it's working. Live, Mr. Turkey, live. You saved the life. Yup, now it's time to chop off its head. Now wait, child. It just doesn't seem right. You know, according to my history book, presidents such as Harry Truman and John Kennedy have spared the lives of their turkeys. And since 1989, the White House has been granted a presidential pardon to each live turkey 
that is resident to, to the president. Maybe we could do the same thing this year. I think that's a lovely idea. After all, one of the many things we should be thinking for is simply how many families get to have turkey dinners just because of this noble bird. Besides, we have many other delicious foods. Yams, cranberries, freshly made bread, and mashed potatoes. That's right, Grandma. Now who's up for some pork chops? I got that you did not chop off the head of our turkey. That Thank is, you. by the way, one of our school committee members' children. He would not have liked that. So that is a good thing. We survived, yay. Woo -hoo. Oh, you wouldn't have either. Great job, and I'm glad the piggies ran because then we couldn't get them either. Nice job. Great job, everyone. Take one more bow. Nice work. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Have a great Thanksgiving, girls and boys, and thank you for your wonderful talent. Thank you, Mrs. Lytle.